Hello, I am Test Drive and welcome to episode 6 of Corvette. And in this episode, we're going to be doing something a little bit different because we completed the amateur career here in the last episode. Got all goals on all those. But now, we of course have some special modes unlocked as was mentioned throughout the career mode. And we will go ahead and start with one of these for this episode and then just kind of sprinkle these in throughout the rest of the Let's Play. So, we have the Hot Lap Challenge to do first, so we'll go ahead and start there. We have one, two, three, four, five races. It literally numbers them, I didn't have to count them. Uh, but we have five different hot laps to do. You can tell our lap records are down there at the bottom. I had no issues getting the best lap on these before. So, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get started with these. Let's go ahead and start with the first one at Rockbridge Falls West. Starting with a 62 Corvette convertible, interestingly enough. Have various different colors, of course. We've got our options and whatever else here. Only convertibles, of course, because it was C1. 14,500 Corvette convertibles sold. Wow. And there's all the information, and we'll go, you know, we'll go with some stock colors. We'll go with, you know what, let's go with the, uh, it says maroon, but it's more of a root beer kind of color. We'll go with that. We have two laps. Um, I don't know if we have to complete all the laps in the time allotted, or if it's per lap. I think it's per lap, because I think all the, lap, or all the tracks are roughly between about a minute to a minute and a half long. I guess we'll see, though. But let's get started on this. Oh, we get a warm-up lap. Ooh, okay. So we get to learn the track for one lap. We only have three gears, apparently. And a top speed of about 101 miles per hour. Two miles per hour, maybe. Uh, oh, I did not show off the... Uh, I didn't show off the... Uh... Well, there's a gauges for this. The gauges for the C5 Corvette. But I'll have more opportunities to do that in the future. You'll just have to watch out for when I actually do more C5 racing, I guess. My bad. Oh, God. I don't know why the timer says 111, but the, the lap says 114. Don't know how that works, but whatever, I guess. And it's also not, it's showing me times, but it's not showing me a, a current time of how long this lap is taking, oddly enough. 56 seconds, and our start finish line is somewhere around a couple corners here. I don't think these are going to be that hard, but I don't know. I don't remember. I don't know if I've ever actually done this. Alright, 116, and it was from a standing start, so hopefully with the running start, I should be able to take care of this, hopefully. We'll see, I guess. Oh god, careful. And it does count down, apparently, interestingly enough. I still don't know what the 111 means. Uh, and why it was 114 for the countdown, but whatever, I guess. Ah, jeez. Ew. I want to complete this on the first try, and I don't know if I'm going to. I wish I had another gear, too. God damn it. I think I'm about six seconds ahead there, which is good. I think it was 46 during that first lap. Maybe? I don't know. Come on, bud. Maybe it was 56. I don't know. Same third gear. Don't have a reason to shift down. Oh, geez. Stay off the grass. No grass touching will happen today. What? Time up. What? Why was I, like, halfway through the track? I apparently unlocked this track. What the fuck happened? Um... Let's try this again, I guess? Hopefully this isn't busted on the PC version or something, because I don't know what the fuck just happened. Uh, I really don't, to be honest with you. The timer didn't start counting down until the beginning of the second lap. 
Uh, I, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Oh, we're going faster now, 107. Not, not too bad, not too shabby. I'm still confused as fuck, because I wasn't paying attention close enough. It just said I failed randomly. I don't know what happened. Unless I did run out of time and I just didn't realize it. I don't fucking know. Nope, no grass touching, please. We are not here to touch grass today. We are here to play video games. Alright, what's our total time here? 11470, okay. Alright, so I'm watching the timer. I'll keep a somewhat consistent eye on it, hopefully. Yeah, it seems like about a second each time is passing. Oh god. That wasn't exactly the way I wanted to do that. Come on, Corvette. 30 seconds remaining. Touching grass, please. Nope. Oh, okay, I guess I'm touching grass. Maybe I did just run out of time because I have 12 seconds remaining now. Well, I guess maybe I did it. Let's see. I did it. Okay. I don't know what happened on the first time. I guess I might have to rewatch the, the footage because I don't think I did that bad, but maybe I did. I also just was vibing. I didn't wasn't actually paying attention to what was happening. Anyways, there's the first one done, I guess. So we'll go ahead and continue on to our second one at High Plains Air, Air Base Alternate West. And we have to do it within uh, 146, apparently. And we have a 63 Corvette. Oh, we can actually switch models. So yeah, you can see now that we have access to it, we can actually go between a coupe or a convertible. Uh, we'll do a convertible since we already had a 63 Corvette coupe. And we also already showed off the... Uh, all the information on this, so... Uh, we'll do silver, why not? So let's see how this goes. Hopefully I can do better this time around. I guess we'll see. Also, we have a very short animation uh, leading up to the car, interestingly enough, I guess because we don't have opponents. So I don't know what the 146 is, because maybe that's just like the overall track record, I'm not sure. I just do not have four gears, it turns out. But I definitely have to do it within 149. I don't know, I don't know how any of this works, I'm just trying to complete it. <laughs> that's all I know. Yeah, we definitely do not have four gears. I just had to make sure there. Why are you holding the wheel like that? Why is it, like, offset? The steering wheel is... What the hell? Oh, God. I'm going to not do great at this track. But we'll see. Oh. The airplane made everything quiet. Alright, 104. Oh. No touching dirt. No touching grass or touching dirt allowed. We have a higher top speed this time around, about 120-ish, maybe? Close enough to it. 127 on the time there. Ah, oh, jeez. 
Careful. No spinala. All right. What's our time looking like here? 154. Well, I can hopefully do better than that without running into walls, specifically. Not by not running into walls, I should say. All right, so I got 149 to do it in. I hopefully will be able to make this. I don't do difficult things. Oh no. I mean, I, I do. I've done a fair amount of difficult things and playthroughs on this channel. Shit, I played through Midnight Club 2. That should be enough. Uh, well, Midnight Club 2 and 100% of Midnight Club 3. I'd say that's a good enough uh, reference to say that, yeah, I've done difficult things for Let's Plays. I'm sure there's other things scattered around there, too. I guess the, the licenses of GT7 kind of count. The, a, the, S, or the B and A licenses. Doing those with a controller with no ABS on at all. Usually people have at least ABS on. I don't. Alright. So I got 20 seconds remaining. I don't know if I'm doing good or bad. I guess we'll find out here in a second. Doesn't look like I'm doing good. Four, three, two, one. Nope. All right. Um, Cause I think that'll just fail me. Yeah. Okay. So I did not do good enough again. I guess we will try that again. Right, eight seconds left. Uh, four, three, two, one. Nope. Not even close yet again. Son of a bitch. And left the gas right about there a little bit. Sure, that works. All right, what we get? I got a 149.86. I did better than my warm-up lap with the last one. Fucking damn it. This is difficult. <clears throat> what the hell? I may have fixed it. Um, I did go back to using windowed mode because for some reason OBS will not pick up this game in full screen mode. Uh, but I may have fixed my problem. I was comparing my uh, timer after I start the second lap because like, it seems like up till the second lap, everything is pretty much on par. But as soon as I hit the second lap and the timer actually starts going, it goes faster, like 5% faster or something, than it should. So, uh, we'll try this again. It looked like I had fixed it, but I, like I said, I did go from full screen to windowed. So we'll see if it's fixed or not. I'm also running at 120 FPS now for some reason, still. Even though I think I removed the frame rate limit, but we'll see, I guess. Ow. I'm just curious now, because I was like watching a video of somebody else playing this on PC on the hard difficulty, and they made it with like five seconds to spare. And I literally drove, uh, I passed the finish line and started the second lap as they did, and watched it, and I was still going faster than them. So I was like, hmm, something is wrong, and I'm not sure of what. Uh, I don't know if it's because of the frame rate cap or what. Um, I, I don't know, I don't know what caused it in the slightest. But I guess we'll see. Because it doesn't make sense that I'm like three seconds off doing the second lap whenever the first lap was perfectly fine. I, I don't understand, but whatever. Old PC game things. Uh, I guess we'll see if this works now. Alright, let's start the second lap. What's my time gonna be? 150, 150. Alright. I think the timer is going the, t the speed that it should be, but uh, I guess we'll find out soon enough here. Because they were getting like 55 seconds at the second split time uh, area, so I guess we'll see.
Yeah, there's a 2570 instead of 30 seconds. Okay. I think I fixed it. I don't think it was a skill issue. I think it was a computer issue. <laughs> Old video game issue. <laughs> and I noticed that uh, if you pick hard in a difficulty, you have to do the 146. But if you pick medium or uh, easy, I guess, it gets to be a lower time, which is why there's a separate time compared to the actual, like, I guess that's, uh, yeah, there's 52.25. Yeah, okay. I think we're going to be able to do this this time. Uh, the, like, overall best time or whatever. I don't know what to call it. I was like, this shouldn't be this hard. Like, what the hell? Yeah, 113 instead of 125, I think, was my best there before. 124. Uh, yeah, uh, weird weird old PC port things. I'll probably keep in, like, my original run of this, just to show how much different it was. Uh, so I'm surprised that I got the first one, actually. Yeah, I have 16 seconds left here instead of zero. Uh... Gotta love it. So there we go. There's our 137. 137, by the way. It's fucking ridiculous. Anyways, I guess we'll continue on with this. And we will head on to Angel Hills Alternate West to do our next race in a C3 coupe. Uh, oh, it's a ZR1, interestingly enough. Very nice. So we have a lot of different colors to choose for this. Um, we'll keep going with regular colors. I did drive a couple of green Corvettes, but I also drove orange. We'll do an orange Corvette. Orange C3. And let's get started. I think the, uh, it's funny, I was actually watching, again, uh, buddy Rhino GT4 who played through this, and I kind of sometimes use his let's plays as like kind of uh, references for what I'm going to do whenever I play through the same game and interestingly enough on the PS2 version that last race was actually a one what was it 143 time limit on hard not 146 and I'm not sure why 49 Ooh, I only got eight seconds left uh oh well, I guess I did bad. I don't know. Because there was zero time left. Hopefully I didn't... It's not back to being dumb and <laughs> the timer off or something. Hmm. That is pretty suspicious, but I guess I'll try again. Hmm. Sus as fuck. Maybe this track's difficult. I don't know. I almost made it on that time, though, so... If I get rid of my fucking skill issues, I might be able to make this. If I do the track enough times, I'll learn it. Always forget about that part. Probably not the optimal way to go through it, to say the least. Now. Go! Do the fast! Alright, 48 seconds. One oh two ninety. Alright. I do suck at this track, apparently. Because even my warm-up lap times are not good at all. Let's go. There we go. That was a lot better through there. 24, that's what I like to see. That's not what I like to see. Ow. Uh, this might still be good, I'm not sure. We'll see. All right, I know my, my last sector here is like 47 or 48. 39, okay, that's a lot better. Actually. 
Ew. All right, definitely a skill issue on this one, but that'll be it. There we go. 5303, I won by five seconds after sucking really bad. It's just how it goes. Not that track, very nice. Um, We'll do the C4, I guess. Ooh, we got a 90 ZR1, all right. Very nice. Uh, I've actually driven a ZR1, uh, specifically a 90, and it was, I believe, red, actually. Um, I don't know if it was bright red or dark red, metallic. We'll do the dark red metallic. Make it a little interesting. Ooh, and we're at the uh, the work zone. Let's see how this goes. We be zooming. Let's go, ZR1. Come on, bud. Oh, wow, I was way off. All right. I don't think that was that bad. Uh, sure, we'll retry. Maybe you have to try it a couple times for the, the, uh, the timer to be right. I don't know, because I didn't feel like I did that bad that time, to be honest with you. I guess we'll find out this attempt. Big vibes as we're driving through here. That was good. Again, it's one of the so it doesn't matter, but I feel good whenever I do corners well. Alright. Ah. Six. What's my lap time gonna be though is my question. It's going to be a 109. Alright. Try and stay off of the dirt on the insides and outsides of the track. Maybe that'll help. The timer looks like it's going the right speed. I can't quite confirm 100%. Come on, bud. Forty-five. That's a lot better. It was like fifty-three the last time I think we were there. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think we definitely got this this time. I'm gonna say so. I don't know. I don't know if the timer was fucked up or I just did better somehow. I don't really know. Ah, <sighs> what a wonderful thing. All right, we'll watch a replay on this and get a thumbnail. I mean, water left. No. Alright, so now that will work, and we have one more race left to do, which I assume will be in a C5 Corvette, City Heights East 108. Finish the race within the time limit. Ah, there we go. There is the cover car, the 50th anniversary Corvette. I might take a thumbnail of this car, actually. That's fine. We got the special 50th anniversary paint and the gold wheels. It's actually the car from the intro, believe it or not. Well, one of the cars from the intro, of course. Well, they're kind of gold-ish, they're like bronze wheels, I guess. Anyways, since I forgot, there is our uh, our gauges. We have a digital uh, speedometer down there, which is nice. Looks very nice. And there you go, there's all of the gauges shown off for all the generations of Corvette. And we got, luckily, another shorter track to do here. Um, this seems slightly suspicious. Yeah, because I think my, my time there was a 102.90 on the first lap, so that doesn't make any sense. I guess we're restarting. We'll see how our second attempt goes. Come on, 
on the flap. Ow. Go way through here. Like, I feel like my second lap there was very much better than the first one. I don't know. Shit seeming a little sus, not gonna lie. A little suspicious. Ow. Again, this is only medium difficulty, too. Hard would be you have to get the 108, basically. We'll only go, boing, go through there. Slide our way around here. A little 230 that time. And let's see what happens with the timer this time around. Ow. I don't know, the timer does seem like it's going a little slower, I'm not going to lie. Maybe it's just you have to do it on the, the second attempt after restarting. That's just how you have to do this. 18.06 on that. Sixty-seven. I don't remember the times, so I don't know if I'm doing good or bad through here. And for our last sector, what is it going to be? Come on, dude. 5383. There's no way that something isn't fucked up. That's just not how it works. It is going to be close, I will admit that. Five, four. We got it. And I would have gotten the goal, or the uh, the hard one, too. It's ridiculous. Anyways, that is all the hot laps done. Big Pog, and we get a little video for this. We got our 63 Corvette that we used, our 72 Corvette we used, our 62 Corvette, our 90 CR1, and the 50th Anniversary Corvette. Very nice. And there's our trophy for completing Hot Lap Challenge mode. It's got flames on it, because it's a Corvette thing. It's cool. Uh, I'm going to wait. I'm not going to do the replay on this one. Or I already have a replay saved or replay done. Uh, but I think I did get all of the hard difficulty times on all these, interestingly enough. But there we go. There is one section of the special modes done. So we'll go ahead and not load, but save. 19% done. Do that, and of course our trophy right there. Almost 20 of the, almost a fifth of the way through the game. So that will conclude this episode of Corvette. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.